Hi, my name is Chris. I'm a senior software developer here at ClearPath Robotics, and today I'm going to teach you how to upgrade your TurtleBot 4 to ROS2 Jazzy. The first step to updating your TurtleBot is going to be to reinstall the firmware on the Create 3. To do this, you're going to want to go to the iRobot Create 3 downloads page and download the firmware release i.0.0. .0. This comes in two flavors, one for fast DDS, one for Cyclone DDS. If that's a little bit technical or you don't know what DDS system you're using, just download the one labeled fast. That's the default for Jazzy. Once you have the file downloaded, open up your browser and point it at the TurtleBot Create 3 page. This is hosted on port 8080 on the Raspberry Pi running inside your TurtleBot, or if your Create 3 is connected directly to your Wi-Fi network, you can access it through there. Go to the Update page, click on Browse, and select the file that you just downloaded. Select it and then click Upload File and Update. This will up automatically update your Crate 3. It may take a few minutes, and it'll make a sound when it's done. Once the update process has finished, you'll see the current firmware version listed at the top of the page as i.0.0 .0 Fast DDS, or Cyclone DDS, if that's the file you downloaded. You'll note that it says it's compatible with Iron. It's also compatible with Jazzy, so don't worry about that. Once the firmware has been updated, we need to reinstall the operating system on the SD card in the Raspberry Pi. This requires first shutting off the Raspberry Pi and then removing the SD card. To shut off the Raspberry Pi, SSH into your robot and use the sudo shutdown command. If you have a TurtleBot Pro, you're going to need a 2.5 millimeter hex screwdriver to undo the four screws holding the top plate down. Once those four screws are removed, you can take off the top plate. And now we want to just unscrew these four metal rods that support the top plate. These are threaded at the bottom, so just be careful. They may be a little bit stiff. Once those are out, we can carefully lift the top plate. A convenient place to hold it is by the metal bracket holding up the Oak D camera. There's a lot of wires under here, so we want to be gentle and make sure we're not applying any tension. So lift that out of the way, and we can see the Raspberry Pi inside. The micro SD card is located towards the front of the robot. You may need to use your fingernails to grab it on the sides, and you can pull it out. For the TurtleBot 4 Lite, the process of getting at the SD card is a little bit different. We have to remove the tray at the back of the robot where the Raspberry Pi is located. To do this, we need to gently pull the tray out and unplug the USB cables for the Oak D and the LiDAR. Once those are unplugged, the tray will come out. There's still a power cable going to the Raspberry Pi, so don't pull too hard. Once the tray is free, you can pull the SD card out from the front of the Raspberry Pi. Once the micro SD card is removed, You'll need some sort of an adapter so you can plug it into your computer. And we're going to download the SD card image from the OSRF. Once you have the image downloaded, we use the DD command to write the image to the SD card. All of the details and links will be in the description below. Once that command is finished, we can remove the SD card from our computer and reinstall it in the Raspberry Pi inside of our TurtleBot and put it all back together. Now that your TurtleBot 4 is updated to ROS2 Jazzy, the next step is to use the TurtleBot 4 setup utility to connect it to Wi-Fi so you can get to work. We've linked to the TurtleBot 4 manual in the description below, so check that out, or subscribe to see the next video in this series. Thanks a lot for joining us. We hope you enjoy your TurtleBot.